Welcome back to Inside the Program, where each week we'll be bringing you an inside look of Virginia Tech football and the people that help contribute to its success. Hi, everyone. I'm Kendall Williams, joined alongside head coach Brent Pry. Coach, we're going to roll into week three this week talking about Virginia Tech football team's team chaplain, Dave Giddens, better known around here as Brother Dave. So to start, Coach, tell me about his story and his experience in working as a chaplain for your team. Yeah, first of all, he's been awesome for, for me. As a first-time head coach, he's been awesome to our players, to our coaching staff. Extremely unselfish, seems to always be available. One of the first guys that, uh, that I met that uh, sat down with me on my first week on the job and uh, just voiced how anything I needed, you know, if, he, if I'd have him, he wanted to be part of this. And, uh, you know, I haven't worked somewhere where the team chaplain has been involved on a day-to-day -day basis like Dave is. Um, it's meant so much. He's at every practice, he's at ball games, he's in the team meetings. Uh, he's part of our staff. I'm very thankful for it. He runs a bunch of different roles here in Virginia Tech, not just with your football team. He's the president of FCA. I know a lot of guys on your team use that as a resource. How critical is that to, to your guys? Yeah, the spiritual piece is something we want to offer as well to every member of our team and our staff, and Dave brings that to our program. You know, we have uh, chapel service on Friday evenings for our team and staff. We have a coach's Bible study during the week. And then Dave is in countless one-on-one -on -one meetings, uh, some scheduled, some you know, spontaneous, uh, throughout the week. He's a great resource for our players. You mentioned your staff. I know he plays a big role. Other than those meetings he has with coaches, what else does he do to support your staff? Yeah, he, he and his wife. Uh, Mama Kim is fantastic. Uh, she she's, you know, cooks some really good dishes up that our players and coaches have gotten to be familiar with. But they're just another couple that demonstrates daily care and concern for our players and coaches. Again, Dave's very selfless. And uh, whether it's game day and there's a player struggling with a bad play or a bad series, you know, if he has a relationship with Dave, Dave's there supporting him, helping him kind of climb out of that space. Um, you know, just very positive, very genuine. Um, you know, he's, he's one, of those, one of those guys around our program that the guys respect, look to, and know they can talk to. You mentioned them, him helping your guys on the sideline. A video went around a couple weeks ago at the Vanderbilt game of Kyron coming off, right? Things not really necessarily going his way. And, you know, that video had said coach has his back. Lo and behold, that was Brother Dave talking to him, right? What is he saying to guys like Kyron in those moments to bring him out of that space? Yeah, I'm sure it's positivity, you know, and... <clears throat> relying on on strengths and uh, moving forward and you know just the belief the confidence you know, that's always his messaging and he's right and uh, so again game day practice whatever the situation you know, Dave's role is very important to our program important to our players and our coaches you mentioned he's on the road with you guys right so other than on the sidelines during the game, everything beforehand, you know, he's in the hotel, he's in the locker room, he's yeah. at team meals. What is he doing in those kinds of settings? Yeah, you know, he, he obviously gives the team blessing often, but he also handpicks certain players to deliver the blessing at different meals. I think it's an opportunity for those guys to get up in front of our team. Um, you know, and then he has our chapel service every Friday evening that's voluntary, but uh, has tremendous uh, attendance. And a lot of guys lean into that as part of their game preparation and their spiritual, you know, belief. Um, so he's, uh, you know, I consider him a, a member of our staff, just like I would our running back coach, our strength coach, our player engagement. Uh, he's, he's, you know, very important to what we're doing. His role is essential. Coach, why is it so important for these players to have a resource like Brother Dave to go to that's not a position coach or a head coach like yourself? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, as much as we pride ourselves on relationships with our players, they don't always want to come to me. They don't always want to go to their position coach. Sometimes it's a conversation that's outside of football or that involves coaches. And so Dave, is a, you know, he's got an open door policy. Guys can walk in there and talk with him about anything. Well, we are excited to see the Hokies head to ODU to face the Monarchs this Saturday, September 14th at 6 p.m. Go Hokies.